Cursed be the ground. For our sake. Both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for us. For out of the ground we were taken for the dust we are. And to the dust we shall return. All you Jermaine's in the house, okay, stand up. Oh, toy with the forbidden apple, number one, okay. <laughs> now, that's rare. <laughs> I love you, baby. Uh, I'm listening, okay. Oh, Adric, uh, down all the way, all the way down to number three. So, Baby Smooth says international shipping tariffs in a country with 0% threshold as far as imported taxes, import taxes, and duty, field, duty fees. It's been a long week. Uh, yeah, yeah, tariffs are always a problem, okay? Ricky Watts, salute. Jermaine, Jamal, what's going on? A plus tech, what's up? Ice Princess, what's going on? <laughs> she uh, totally gets her apple back. Uh, Shannon Green, what's going on? Let the dust fall from the heavens. J. Mar, what's happening? Prince, what's happening? Terrell, what's going on? Kev, too, what's happening? Is it me or are Latinas choosing up on brothers? Uh, it's, it's the Latinas and, and you, okay? Pragmatic Prime, what's going on? King Lexicon, what's going on? DM, the you know, uh, in fact, uh, I was just reading, the, uh, was it, uh, what's it, Musk was actually on his ex, was saying that, uh, Biden had flown in uh, 320,000 uh, immigrants so that they, they they wouldn't be seen at the border. So <laughs> they, they're bringing them in, you know, so you might as well take what advantage you can from it. OK, Michael, what's happening? Spragman Prime was in your area briefly yesterday for work, flew in LAX and drove down to Santa Ana. OK. Uh, grab Eddie, what's going on? Grab second gear, Eddie, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, when you're burning rubber, man, that's when you shift. You shift in the second gear, we're down, shift in the second gear, kind of pass somebody, them revs up. LAXD, what's going on? Mr. Donnie Mac, <laughs> before we get started, does anyone want to get out? <laughs> Willie R, what's going on? Black Trucker Mafia, what's going on? Ninja person, what's going on? Only on a BGS stream does a tech and dust mix perfectly. <laughs> y'all ain't shit. Can't take y'all nowhere. I said, oh, Leon says, write the book. Yeah, well, that's about, yeah, that book is probably about, uh, it's, it's probably going to be second and may, maybe even third. Want to be mystic? What's happening? Just what are your thoughts on the complete shutoff of Facebook and Instagram, Chinese cyber, probably a cyber attack and probably Russian. Cool gamer was saying if they if, if they're if they're hush hush about it, then it's probably a cyber attack from the big boys. John Smith. I am Latuan, what's going on? Eric Archer. Zavi, what's up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Venezuelans got some ass, man. I gotta tell you, boy. They got they got pretty skin and big asses. Right? Venezuelans are something else, man. 
Okay, Opal Funny Alpha found a channel by black men that made a series of videos on why Latinas like black men. Okay. Nine in the fast lane. Okay. Uh, Michael's with the $5. Said, I just watched a movie called Nothing But a Man from 1964 that fits right in with this topic today. Yeah, they they talked about this way back in the 60s, man. That's when that welfare first came up and, you know, a lot of the shit was happening. Scorpion Black was happening. Punch Travel Channel was going on. Forever Blessed was happening. Okay, you know your stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, I, hey, Jew, I was once like you, and I love to do the wild thing, all right? So <laughs> I was there. David, uh, Titus, what's going on? Dave Tao, one of my day ones. Michael says, hit that like button. Poor man's passport guy. Ashes to ashes, rust to dust. <laughs> I heard that. Uh, Xander, what's happening? Winkler, what's going on? Charles with the woo. Okay. Forever blessed. What's going on? My second girlfriend is black Venezuelan in her ass. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. Okay. Judas Lion. Appreciate you, bro. Salute. JT. This is Opal. Drop the link. Okay. Does Opal have a Opal? You do you have a wrench, Opal? If you don't, man, let me know. Oh, Facebook did an update. They can have AI text. It can alter and help people type better, right? Okay. I believe it was just an update. Uh, no one updates don't take your whole system now, but you never know. And they go flow. Spain, man. What's up? Philip, what's happening? Uh, that stunt in your box video, weapon. A weapon for a more elegant time. <laughs> Getting things done is truly a weapon from old. Okay, heard that. <laughs> the statement. Okay. Show me what's up. Oh, since 2015. Okay, El Debray in Washington. All right, El Debray in 21st. Okay, it's it's not actually not a bad neighborhood, man. A lot of big houses over there. And then, with, you know what happened to that neighborhood? It was crack, man. Crack took that whole neighborhood out. Ninja person. Okay. What's up? All right. Sick Diggy. What's going on, man? Neymar. And blackmail. Salute. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started, man. Um, This is, uh, I, th I was going to do this one yesterday, but I got caught up. So, um, and, uh, a couple of videos triggered me, but uh, it all it all really started with this one. OK, um, it all really started with this one. And you guys probably this has probably been going around and it's, it's probably been going around. But I'm, this is a couple of videos I'm going to do with this one because uh, you got to know the whole backstory because because the, the, the other video, they don't read it. OK. So. Share screen. And this was a Reddit post. Now, we don't know, since it's Reddit, we don't know whether this is a, a, a white woman or a black woman, but it sounds like a black woman, okay, that's on Reddit, okay, that, that would do some shit like this. But uh, we go ahead and play it. Oh, as always, give me one if you can hear it. There came to me privately. And Am I the a-hole for not giving my husband my escape money when I saw that we were financially struggling? I, a 34 female, have recently ran into a situation with my husband, a 37 male, and I'm curious about if I am the a-hole here or not. So me and my husband have been together for eight years, married for seven. When I got married, my mother came to me privately and talked about setting aside money as a rainy day slash escape fund if worse came to worst. My husband has never showed any signs of being dangerous and rarely even gets upset, but the way my mother talked about it, it seemed like a no-brainer to have. When me and my husband got together, we agreed I would be a stay-at-home wife. We are both child-free, so that was never a concern. My husband made a comfortable mid-six-figure salary. All was good until about two years ago, he was injured at work in a near-fatal accident between hospital bills and a lawsuit that we lost that ate up nearly all of our savings. 
I took a part-time job while my husband was recovering, but when he fully recovered, we transitioned back into being unemployed as my husband insisted that it was his role to provide. He currently is working two full-time jobs and Uber is on his days off to keep us afloat. Here's where it might be the a-hole. I do all of the expense managing and I have continued to put money into my escape account. Although I significantly decreased from $750 a month just to $200 a month. A lot. My husband came home exhausted one night and asked about downsizing because the stress of work was going to him. I told him downsizing would not be an option as I had spent years making our house a home and offered to go back to work. He tried to be nice, but basically told me that me going back to work wouldn't make enough. After an argument, my husband went through our finances to see where we could cut back. He was confused when he saw that I had a regular occurring withdrawals leading back to years and he asked me about it. I broke down and revealed my money to him, which now sits at about $47,000. After I told him all this, he just broke down sobbing. His POV is I treated him like a predator and hid money from him for years, even when he was at his lowest. I told him that the money was a precaution I would have taken with any partner, not specific to him. He left the house to stay with his brother and said I hurt him on every possible level. But my mom says this is exactly what the money is for and should bail now. Am I the a-hole? This can't be real. I refuse to accept that anyone could be this obtuse and casually cruel to a person who cared for and about them to the point of a breakdown. Seriously, I'd feel much better if you came on here and said, just kidding. My two kids recently moved out of our 1,000 square foot home. It feels huge with just the two of us, but then we don't hate each other. I can't imagine my partner working three jobs and begging to cut back while I didn't work and sat on $47,000. I agree with having an escape fund, but in this situation, he's the one who needs to escape. This is obviously abusive and she's a raging a-hole. So this is where you lost my sympathy personally. You have more than enough money for a personal emergency fund. You could have put a pause on your personal withdrawals for the past two years. He almost a thing died. Your mom, why would you bail now? He's done nothing but support you both. Why haven't you been working if you were so concerned about your escape fund? You don't even have children. You're the a-hole. Escape funds do make sense in some situations, I suppose, but $47,000 is a lot of money. And to be still contributing that much monthly when your husband did almost die is just crazy to me. And it's also crazy that you chose not to downsize. What kind of lifestyle are you living? It must be just incredible. If you haven't worked also, I can only imagine just kind of how entirely this woman is. I'm going to say she's the a-hole. Yeah, that's 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 video number one. Ah, how, how, you know that money was made because he never looked because he trusted her. Okay, that's how. And there's a lot of guys that trust, you know, that trust their, their woman implicitly. Okay, they really do. I've met those kind of guys. Okay, where uh, where they don't look at the finances because they believe as long as the uh, as long as everything's okay, as long as everything is stable, and he's working so much, he doesn't look. And women know exactly how much money to pinch. That's not that's not new. Yeah. No, she didn't. Well, she she didn't work, and they didn't have children. She didn't work. They didn't have children. But uh, like I said, this is not abnormal. So we're gonna show part two to this because I want to tell you this 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 is this is uh this you know I'm gonna show part two of this. Then we're gonna show you something. Uh, I'm gonna show you something where. Uh, this go. This is way, way back. In fact, I was uh, listening to this chick on in Africa. Right? This idea about what's it called pin money, okay? And not the, the, you know the whole saying, saying uh, do not let your right hand know what the, the left let the, do not know let your right hand know what your left hand is doing, right? That comes from Africa because they do that on the continent. I I couldn't find the video where she said that, but. Uh, Now this is a uh, this is eight at the table, right? And this is the this is the first one that I saw, right? About this, and homeboy was upset. So, and dog and her, I and feel I was like all, we're all in agreement that she should have communicated. And it, and it, and as always, as always, uh, if we use somebody's stuff, please go give them a like. Okay, give them a like, give them support. Uh, Every, you know, content creators at least deserve a like. So, anyhow, she should just put that out there. That. Yes, communication. She said, communicated. Lack of communication shows and dictates exactly what it is defined as. If you communicated it, and then I had a disagreement or whatever, and but you still went about it, is entirely different than me just doing something. And not only did I do something, I did it for years. And not only did I do it for years, even when push came to shove, and we had nothing, and I was at a point where we can't afford this home. You still didn't Watch come. Control. You still didn't come to the surface and say, "Well, guess what? You know, I did save some money throughout the time frame of you working, and I was staying at home." You didn't even offer that. 
And then you, in fact, you gave a separate solution to hide that again. Mm -hmm. You get a separate solution like, yo, let me go back to work. And he's like, well, that's still not going to cover the bills. So let me actually see where my money's been going because maybe I've been mismanaging the money, right? So then he, he starts checking where his money is going. And then lo and behold, oh, wait, huh? What, what, what happened? There's 750 here, 750 here, 750 here. Oh, but now it's 200 here, 200 here. In a relationship, cool. In a sugar daddy situation, in a motherfucking <laughs> a relationship where I'm just getting an allowance or a stipend, all right, cool. But in a marriage, I just see a difference. Why are you marrying somebody you can't trust? Exactly. That's yeah. just the way I see it. Why are you marrying somebody you can't trust? Yeah, that's, the that's, that's the whole thing. It's, it's, called, uh, it's called loyalty, right? Loyalty and honesty. Okay, and her saying I would have done it with any partner, no matter who. It is not specific to you. Basically, you are a predator. Rookie, if you have to keep money stashed to the side, why are you marrying somebody that you can't trust? Well, then I'd probably suggest that she just shouldn't be married because she said that it wasn't personal to him. She would have done it with anyone. But she, but that's a lie. You know why? Because she never did it. She only did it when her mom brought it to her attention. She followed the process. But of we don't know at what point though. Her mom probably did it before, gave her that advice before they got married. I don't know at what point did the mom give this advice. Well, hold it down, bitch. You got married. Hold yeah, it down. You should have left. Hold I it down. She was right in leaving because I, I think that's a huge. I mean, that can be. It can be. It can be forgiven though. You can come no. back. Bullshit. Bullshit. It can't be forgiven. There you go with that, with that black female shit. You know that that uh, Winter Soldier shit. It can be forgiven. Bullshit. It can't be forgiven. Hell no. Hell no for that uh, because it's not like they were like i don't think you can i don't think you have to completely end the relationship off of this yes though. you do eight years of mistrust <laughs> but you, they had a savings account that, they had a savings account they had a joint savings account that they depleted let's remember that they had a, hello motherfuckers aaron see 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 yeah see yeah but it don't be just me it'd be all of them so no, it's never me, me. I'm, yeah, be me. Be, it's, it's all y'all yeah. okay, okay. So see? yeah, um, oh, shame y'all. <laughs> so, but see, fuck, you know, say, fuck. I'm trying. Let me tell this lie, okay? Don't stop fucking up my lie. If you, if we depleted our savings that we had together, and then I had a separate account, separate savings that you didn't have. Yeah, no, 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 no. I've been listen. I've been rolling with y'all this whole time. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to switch it up. I'm just saying. Damn, I'm gonna miss my because me and Aaron got into that argument. I just forgot what I was gonna say. I know my choo-choo train. I'm saying I, I don't think he's wrong for leaving. And as far as being able to trust. Her again. Yeah, I don't think the relationship be, is over. Yeah, it's not. Maybe not be Wait. over, but fully trust. He said it's over. It's over. If it ain't over now, it'll be over when they try to rekindle. Because things should be forgiven. But it's not about the forgiven part. The thing is, I, I wish it said how long he did this. How long he basically worked three jobs. Cheating can be forgiven. I think this can be. Cheating forgiven. is way different in a sense. Over sense. about some forty-seven thousand dollars. No, it's not about. True. Yo, you watched it. First of all, the, this man is at a breaking point, right? He said, <laughs> "I cannot work no more. It's going to kill me." Okay. He can't be about to die if he told his wife not to work. That was pride. First of all, I, no. I, I want to put that in there. That, hey, that hey, not working was right, pride. And don't, and, don't, and don't let your pride kill you. So it was three. He was working three jobs, right? And if he's working three jobs, and it's not has nothing to do with forty-seven thousand dollars, like yo, I'm working three jobs. You're watching me kill myself every day. You're watching me not be able to do anything to like that would make me happy. I'm literally working to supply a home and cover the costs and finances of this home for you, and yet you have never once ever. Had the audacity to say, hey, guess what? I saved $47,000 through the course of our marriage. And let's actually try to use this to kind of alleviate some of your stress. Now, I realize as a man that is married to this woman, or this type of woman, you would rather watch me die than to one, downsize, <laughs> and two, help out. And three, in the process, and three, in the process, take and make me work harder. <laughs> like, like not, only, not only did when he get back to, got back to work, she was still taking money. So he's already short on money, and she's still taking two hundred dollars a month. It don't yeah, sound like they was having well, much sex either. Let's not forget this whole time. I guarantee you, one hundred percent, that she was still complaining. <laughs> and no, don't be adding shit. No, no, no. Don't be adding shit, Rome. <laughs> Rome, I'm not. I'm gonna ignore this shit out of you right now. I feel like she wasn't smiling. I mean, she didn't. She wasn't smiling every day. I feel like if she did not, she was slapping on that knob. Not have an alternative, like how can I help? Then I would have called her evil as fuck. She's still complaining. She did not want to reveal her own savings, but she said. I can go back to work. He did say he did say that wasn't really gonna make any difference, but she was willing to still like if she was a shit wife, she wouldn't she would never she been downsize said that. and said, you know what? How about this? I'll go to work and I'll downsize. So now you can take two jobs out and work one. Or maybe you could work two jobs and have a little bit extra money to do whatever extracurriculars you have. I'm about to go in. No, I'm, just, I'm working. I mean, I mean I, to be honest, I like, think she has more be, secrets. She's a whore. This should be. Yeah, she's she, at least she's that one's correct. She got more secrets. They ain't the only one, right? But it, as always, right? What did they try to do? Okay. I'm done. I'm done with life, and it's all Jermaine fault. It's always Jermaine fault. I'm done. But black one always try to throw it back on the man, right? And we're going to go ahead and give a little bit more of this. And I got one more.
be a lesson to I'm gonna say this to women. I'm gonna put my drink out. Don't ever be in a situation where you don't have your own. Yeah. I don't care what nobody part. says. Rico believes that, you know, that's toxicity or these women are so uh damaged and messed that's up. That's bobbing over there. They're giving, you know, this evil information. But I just in I just can't imagine a woman being in a position because I've seen it and I imagine some of y'all have seen it before. Yeah. Yeah, with your parents. See, your that's parents. old school. That's old school black women stuff, right? If it, it says if he was working harder to pay off the, the $47,000 debt that she didn't tell him about in the first place. It is. Say it again, black man. Say it again, black man. In other words, uh, are we being independent? There's another vote for independence, right? Instead of honesty, okay? They're using this as a, as a, as a jump off. Don't be vulnerable to a man, to a black man, right? The grandparents or whatever, um, where the woman is left with her children with absolutely nothing. I mean, they don't have children in this case, but like um, just with absolutely nothing, no way to even feed and clothe yourself, you know? So like I said, you'll be a goddamn fool to not have your own man or woman. It, it really doesn't matter. Like it, it, for you to not have the, the presence of mind to make sure that you are okay if something goes down, because at the end of the day, the, 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 the probability of things being right and continuing on that same, continuing down that same path is the exact same probability of shit going awry. 50-50, baby. I agree with that. Yeah, but she, she should have been upfront about it. If you're upfront about it, that's one thing, right? But this is what they teach black women constantly, right? Always have your own, right? What, what, and, but then again, they want a high value, man. They want you to pay, they, they want you to pay 100% of the bills and all the other kind of crap, or 80% of the bills, right? But they still want to have their own. They still want to have their, have their out, right? They don't want to depend on you. This is the bullshit that the messages that men get. That's like a black man's are leaving. Black men are leaving because of this shit. Nobody knows. So yeah, for that's... you, so for you not to protect yourself, it's crazy. Don't you have car insurance? Don't you have homeowners insurance? Now this, uh, check your email. There's something behind the wall. Okay. All right. Now, now I'll, I'll check it. Um, but um. Uh, this is something. This is something that the, that the that's been passed down from Africa, right? Passed down, especially passed down here in the United States, especially since slavery, right? Because the black, the average lifespan of a black man was only like thirty years. Okay, average. The average lifespan of a black man was thirty years. So he probably would die before your children children got old enough. He probably would die. So so basically, this is where it comes from. You cannot depend on the life of a black man you cannot depend on your black husband okay and th this is something that the uh that the white women used to tell uh, uh white black women you know after slavery right you don't depend on your black husband okay he's gonna abuse you he's gonna hit you he's gonna do all this crap don't depend on him you need to have your own you need to come over here with me work for me and work for the white man so that you always have your own right that's where it comes from this is not new don't you have insurance on your spouse on your kids on yourself like there's just there's so many things that can go wrong and for you to think that just because you married ain't nothing gonna ever happen is absolutely ridiculous i agree with this is a community right okay this is a community you are there to provide them security okay that's why they always talk about what you need to do okay now black mothers do not teach black black sons to always have an escape fund okay they don't it's that you should die and give all your money and all your money over to mama. He said, they do not they understand how much that money means at a certain time. They're playing themselves with this stuff. The thing is, it's about the honesty. If she had the money and she's going to save the money, and that's what the homeboy said. If you said it, you let it be known to have a savings account over here with this much money. And it's not the first time I've heard this. I've heard this many, 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 many times, right? Where they have, with the, where they have secret money that you do not know about. And it's it's about being honest about it, and it, especially it, back in the it, back in the uh, back in the uh, old days, right? And it would do silent generation and before, okay. Black men already knew they had pen money, okay. They already knew they had money stashed away, okay. But as long as it didn't interfere with what she needed to do, and he got value out of his wife, he didn't. It didn't bother him as much, okay. But nowadays they want to be independent. They want they they want they want their rights. They want to have their say. Blah blah blah. You're not getting value out of their wife. You know they want to be partners. Okay, instead of a wife, that that bullshit don't fly no more. And you saw them line up night after night after night after night on Kevin's channel, saying what percentage of bills they want to pay. 
It was never 50-50. It was never 50-50. In fact, they 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 send you the message that if you 50-50, do 50-50 with your wife, then you're not a man. And, and knowing that this shit goes on, and this is not new, okay? Play a little bit more of this. Sam C., a man's value is way more than 50K. Well, well, she didn't see that. Well, she didn't she, she didn't see anything wrong with what she did. That's not the fact that she wanted to get divorced. She didn't see anything wrong with it. Because that mad divestor on your channel is at it again. Okay, well, as long as she's not here. If she's if 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 uh if she's here and, and she's 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 on my channel, okay, then go ahead and snipe her. Okay, we're not playing today. So, again, women, don't ever put yourself in a situation where you can't take care of yourself. I don't care if that means you getting a deposit from your daddy every month. I don't care if that means you're going to continue to work while you with your husband. I don't care what it means. You are a goddamn fool if you don't have your own. Okay, okay. Aaron, I agree. I would definitely say there's definitely variables to that. Yeah, you should go get your own, right? Or you should have your own. Allow me to work you either have the ability to go get your own and don't settle to be a stay-at-home wife. If you feel that you have to sneak money out of your household, if you have a conversation in that, she did not express that she desired to be a stay at home wife. She agreed to it. I don't care what she expressed. No, no, see? your husband. She agreed to it. See, 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 see what? See what I'm saying? I'm done. I'm done with life. And it's all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. I'm done. I'm telling you. Okay. She made that you conscious decision, you. right? You said, you said, words of Aaron, she made a choice. So, she did so then I don't care about nothing else. Nobody else had an input on that choice. Okay. It's different if her mom said, you need to go, or you need to be at home. No, the person with whom she shares a life. She made a choice no, to be home. It's not her she made a choice okay, to be, be home. Be, she listen. made a choice to be home. Not and that's it. If you want to make a choice to be home, when there's a thousand different work opportunities for men and women, you are taking on that choice. So now, now I'm not saying. So now she goes to work, she got to come home and deal with a nigga that don't want her at work. That, that's what she got to deal with. If she says, if she no. gives the opportunity, if she has a conversation to say to this man, listen, no. I either want to have my own money by me working for it, or I want you to put money in an account for myself. That's a different conversation. No, but if you feel, but if you feel like you can't have this conversation with your husband, so you have to sneak money out of whatever finances that he's bringing in, then you are in the wrong. So that means you should not make the choice to be at home and not working because you want your own and you're not an adult enough to communicate the fact that you would like to have a piece of the pie to your own. I mean, for yourself from his finances. That's very simple. If you're not an adult, you shouldn't be married and then saying making making decisions that could put you in a position where you could be left with nothing. I'm asking Say it again, black man. Say it again. Say it again, black man. But they never wrong, are they? Shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right. Sign language. The need to be right is strong with this one. Watch. Good question. Right. So let's say you're married and you're dead set on your spouse being at home. Okay, no we'll say exact same situation. Right. Um, so really she just man managing the home, you know, and, and that's a job in itself. See, she stopped talking to him, right? She can't get nowhere with him, so she's gonna talk to the black man, right? But she's managing the home, taking make sure everything is okay. There's not much for you to even worry or think about on, on, on that end. Okay. Right. So if she's at home, but I mean, sorry, yeah, y'all have made a decision for her to be at home, but if she says, you know what, no, I, I need my own. And she goes to work, and that is like very much against what it is you desire. Mm -hmm. Are you just gonna be cool with that and take it? Or is it going to be like a bit of frustration and a bit of like friction between y'all when she not at home when you get home or the house ain't clean or the such and such That's women taken care of so, or food ain't cooked? Okay. You going to come home and eat you a hot sandwich. You want, you want, you my, you want my honest answer? Yeah. My honest answer is we entered this marriage as 50-50 equal, mm -hmm. right? We broke 50-50 and, and we decided that you could stay home. Uh yeah, there's always I always I do have a cash app uh, Hunter X Man. If you look in the description, of any video, my cash app should be there. Okay, appreciate you. I've hurt myself. I am injured. No, no, that's not what I'm asking. I didn't ask any of that. Not not if I'm injured. No, I didn't ask any of that. What I asked is if you want your spouse to okay. be home. All right. Right. Yes. And she's like, no, nah, I can't really do that. Right. Yep. You know, I need to have my own X, Y, and Z. Okay. But now you come home and it's an issue. There's friction. The food isn't cooked. The house isn't clean. The, and that's her job. The, that's While what she's home? that. Well, no, that's what she's doing. There has to be things like that. Yeah, part of the plan. Home wife, okay. meaning, but she has to do those things. The home. Right. But none of those things are done now because she's. That's a problem. No, so is that going to cause friction? <laughs> it what? Might cause friction. Women can't work. She has to work. So I'm going to be understanding that now you have to work. No. And so those things aren't. She's going to happen. Wait, am I missing something? Yes. Yeah. That's the way she asked it. It's not. It's not happening. In other words, you got to be real specific. Okay. 
this that is why they are mad at the podcast they're destroying their plans notice white women walk in front in in, in front door and, and taking black men from them and wait for white women just loving black men uh yeah that is true that is true they, 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 basically they, they they're trying to find they're trying to find the the, the proper code words to get the uh the, the, the uh, winter soldier back in line no, her not working this is her from the working. jump right okay. from the jump they made a decision for her to be at home they. and th this is the thing they. It, what are you talking about they made a decision they both my fucking point continue right they they that's, that's the point yeah, that's the so if she was like yo i want to go to work because i want to have my own okay are you gonna is there gonna be any friction? Are you gonna feel a certain way when you come home because the shit that you thought was gonna be going on at, at the house isn't going on? Because she's like, no, nah, I need to work because I, I need some sense of freedom and ability to earn and have something for myself. So for me, I'm mm -hmm. answering for me, there mm -hmm. will not be friction because I am holding her back for what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. And I have to let her be her own person Ooh. and not be trapped by what I believe in mm -hmm. or what she's convinced me that I believe in. Truth be told, most men, I'll speak for myself. Romeo Johnson. Don't I, be using my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna use it earlier, but I ain't say nothing good. I'm aware that y'all have an ace in a hole at all times, and that is marriage. Y'all always have an ace in a hole, and you can fall back on getting half the money. I'm Free aware enough. of that. Alan. Or prenup. I'm aware of that. <laughs> so what I would do is try to make this home as happy mm -hmm. as possible so we can have this long lasting, and you don't take half of my money on some bullshit. That's how I would Sounds handle it. Sounds easy, but it ain't that easy. And That's then how I would handle it. Let me tell y'all something, because Amanda was giving me a look. She was giving me a look because she knows that I've been a stay-at-home bitch. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. I've been a stay-at-home bitch, but I've never been a wife. So my mindset, I understand both. Now, I fucked up before. I didn't take care of my business and save like I should have, and I learned from that situation. But I feel like when you're married to someone, I think it's, it's, it's different. Like, the understanding is completely different than when you're just a baby mother, which yes. I was. I was a baby mother. So at the end of the day, I was a baby mother whose bills were paid. I was a baby mother who the, the groceries was in the house. We had an understanding, and something occurred that would... Something occurred that was not. You cheated, okay? You cheated, bitch. Just go ahead and say it. Something occurred. You stepped out. And he caught you. Financial, but it was something else that affected our relationship. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you stepped out. Go ahead and say it. I know what it is. You got caught. At the same time, that person still took care of the household. You know what I'm saying? That that agreement and that understanding still, it was it was occurred. You know, it occurred. Whatever I did was my was was my decision. So me leaving or doing whatever is because of how I felt. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. Even that was a strong connection where it's like, listen, you're not gonna leave me out thinking and I'm not gonna fuck you over. It's not gonna be no extra shit. But if I was married to someone, I just, my bad, damn, bracelets. Yeah. But if I was married to someone, I think it just would be completely different. I think that's a completely different, like, just that scenario of marriage. We're one. If it was boyfriend and girlfriend for eight years, I could be like, ah, right, she, was, she, was, she was a snake. Right. But marriage, she didn't communicate. Mm -hmm. I think it's which, wrong. Which, what we, we, we all, all agree on. Yeah, I think it's just wrong. Not up for discussion. Yeah. I think we all agree right. with. Nobody maybe, should be in your business when you're in a maybe marriage. Maybe state fund is just maybe worded wrong. Maybe rainy day fund because it's both of us. Right. I'll allow that. That's yeah. bullshit. Okay. That's bullshit. <laughs> she used to be on Kevin Samuels. <laughs> yeah. Shades is, Shades is a hood buster. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hey, well, you know, yeah, she got that, she got that scammer or that drug dealer that that, that allowed her to stay home, man. He had the money, you know. She had, he had the money. But there's one more. Uh, there's one more I'm gonna show, right? And um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna show the comment section with this one because the the com the because the comment section also is a uh, is part of this, right? So. Um, will it make take me off the screen and show how far back this goes? Okay, what was going on? <laughs> My mother was taking driver's <laughs> lessons. Let's see if we can pull this back. Now, we have probably have to play this a couple times. Okay, uh, and I want to. I want to do this, okay? I want to show the comment section along with this one, right? Okay. I know it probably won't be big enough. 
Yeah, she I didn't drive. That. She had been working, selling some clothes, Definitely putting money that. away. And, and Avon. And Avon. Mm -hmm. She was selling. Mm -hmm. And she went and bought a car and hid it. And then went and bought a beautiful home in West Philly. Yeah. Nobody knew about right. it in her yeah. own name. Right. Got her mortgage. Got yeah. the deed in her name. Right. She picked you all up in her new car mm -hmm. and took you all to this brand new house. And all while y'all were... In Didn't school, y'all were at night. Her husband was working. Look, he coming home to a meal. <laughs> he came home. Everybody was gone. <laughs> and nobody ever went back. He was not having that foolishness another day. While you were in school, a little girl, not knowing what was going on, <laughs> no, no. her mother was taking driver's she lessons. Yeah, she I didn't drive. That. She had been working, selling some clothes, Definitely putting money that. away. And, and Avon. Bought, so and Avon. Mm -hmm. She was selling. And she went and bought a car and hid it. And then went and bought a beautiful home in West Philly. Yeah. Nobody knew about right. it in her yeah. own name. Right. Got her mortgage. Got sure. her deed in her name. Right. She picked you all up in her new car mm -hmm. and took you all to this brand new house. And all while y'all were in Didn't school, y'all were at night, her husband was working. Look, he coming home to a meal. <laughs> he came home. Everybody was gone. <laughs> and nobody ever went back. She was not having She's not having that foolish night another day, right? Okay. You you would think then this this now this woman, this particular woman is I think she's in her sixties, right? Okay. Okay, she's a boomer. Okay. The woman she's talking to is older than that. And she's talking about her mother, her mother that did that to her father. Okay. And if you look at the comment sections, right? I uh, said, so what is it? Ken Beauty said, moving in silence would afford you the opportunity to proceed safely and peace, right? I uh, said, so lesson, don't talk about it, be about it, right? I said, this is coming from, um, a chick. Okay, another chick. I packed up four kids. I packed up four kids uh, under the age of 10 and moved to a different continent with two suitcases. I left because I didn't want my kids to think abuse is normal. It's always abuse, right? So that was 20 years ago. I have no regrets. Okay. I'm actually shocked how many people in this comment section have the same story as this woman. Kudos to these mothers, okay? My mother did the same, okay? My mother did the same, bought a house, it moved while we were in school, my father at work, uh, it, uh, uh, work and took us to a new house that my father knew nothing about. She was sick and tired of abuse and drinking. I was six and I remember it like it was yesterday, okay? Mama always, look at this, right? This whole thing. Mama always said, uh, never let your right, right hand know what your left hand is doing, right? African proverb. My mother, my, look at this. My mother was the same way. She moved with clarity and focus and intent. She got a driver's license. She started her career without my, my dad's knowledge, okay? She was from a generation that was more about action, less talking, no arguing, no standing around, hand wringing and indecision. She used to tell me you can show people better than you can tell them. She also never let your right hand know what your left hand is doing, right? Old African proverb, right? Same here. I found a house to rent. I had the utility turned on and wait until he left the weekend. I moved the kids out all my furniture and other things in a 1977 pinto hatchback the only thing left in the apartment was curtains okay it was curtains witnessing the death rattle of black relationship we as we know it smart black men are refusing to be black women's reparations i'm not going to beg an itch to, to uh, give her a lifestyle of out of laziness what black women want only to get an empty plate attitude and fleece okay yeah what are you you were cocky surf right say my mother changed the whole continent and did the same thing and my dad is still bitter about it this is why i love problem solving women okay we are really inspirational right rest in peace mama okay and she only sixth grade education uh good for her i can uh, totally re relate never look back my youngest was six now 18, I didn't know my own strength until I had to find it. The true definition of moving in silence. Some men won't let you 
go even if they are doing doing you wrong and will never will even try to unalive you for leaving them make it make sense so it's always it's always mr okay this happens to, this happens to my fellow truck drivers all the time yeah because you're out on the road right My look at listen to this. My mom, my mom did the same thing, right? My mom did the same thing. Uh, while we we're at all in school, we left the house that morning, walking to school per usual. While in school, the principal called us over, uh, older three to the office to let us know that our mom called and said that we moved and that this is the address to go to after school. She was sick and tired of her husband's uh ridiculousness and reckless behavior okay my mom mother sent him to the store and moved us out uh with clothes on our backs and what we could carry she didn't have time to do all those things but we made it out in the end okay more women should do that instead of staying in an abusive relationship i know of a man that it happened to he was emotionally and in, in financially abusive after he, he insisted that she stay at home to be a housewife because they had a few children and his income wasn't that high. She was able to get fully covered uh, for classes at a local college. She quietly took nursing, passed her state exam and did the exact same thing. Talking about it, she was, that was over 25 years ago and he still talked about it, it miserable and drunk all the time, okay? That was my mother, but she went, to a whole new state. After that, she picked me up and my sister from school. And all I know is when I woke up, we're in North Carolina. Okay, rest in peace, mama. Okay. My irresponsible cheating husband wanted me to completely depend on him. I was 20, 20 years old. I had to sneak to school and graduate and fled for the file for divorce. Uh, 20 years later now he's homeless see how see the thing my while my mother did the same thing let's see look at all these man look at all this look at all this 1.7k replies look at all this and they say that is you they say they always say that you're abusive they always say that that uh um uh, you're foolish. They always say that black men don't want to be married. They they always say that uh, black men leave the household. And the reason we that there's so many single mothers is because black men don't want to get married and they don't want to take care of their kids. Look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all this. This is not new. This is not new. I've been hearing this for my whole entire life. And now they, they try to rewrite history like black men just left the household and just one day picked up, took a pack of cigarettes and didn't come back. Look at all this. Now, when they do it, it's fine. When they break up a family, when they when they take the kids and they sneak away, when they when they do all this kind of crap. Then uh, then guess what? Then it's then, then they're, they're heroes, they're strong black women. When we do it, if we did the exact same thing, we'd be shit for it. That's how come in the black community, BLM says a black family is a woman and her children. A black man is extra. The black man is an appendage. A black man is resources, right? This is not new. Do you, and you wonder, well, you wonder why, um, where this stuff comes from. I, I'm keep telling you that when, when they were able to get, get away from us, where, where Uncle Sam stepped in and became the baby daddy, they couldn't wait to get away from our asses. Couldn't wait. This has been them. This has been pa this has been passed down from the continent. Okay. It it grew, it, it got developed in, in the slave fields, right? And when we got independent, they didn't want to be tied to us. They still don't. They still don't. This slave farm breeding behavior, and these women don't even comprehend it. That's how come they were. That's how come they don't want to be married. Okay, that's why marriage is a burden to them. That's how come. That's the, that's how come black men begin in a hole, right? In other words, for a black man to get married and have a wife, have and have black children, have a black family, he's got to be extra. He's got to be extra. 
And you see them, you see them trying to defend that chick that took that 47,000, okay? Because they agree with it. They do understand, okay? They, they, that's the way they're taught. So I'm trying to tell you guys, this is the way that they're taught. Let's see, I got one more, I think. Let's see if I got one more. I got one more. And you probably have seen this one. Um, so if I can find it, I know I got it somewhere. I know I have it somewhere. You've seen, I know you guys seen the Nick Cannon one. Predatorial and parasite behavior, yet black women are shocked that men in aggregate are either dealing with them at arm's length, transactional, or not at all. Their, their daughters are paying for their sins. Their daughters are paying. Well, think, yeah, their daughters are paying for their sins, okay? I mean, basically, you got to remember, your, your children are not just female. They're also sons. And they see they saw what you did to daddy. They saw what you did to daddy. See if I can find it. Because I want to find this Nick Cannon one. And I just had it. Unless they took it down. I know I didn't know they didn't take it down. Let's see. Let me go and search for it. Ayanla, yeah. Ayanla Van Zant and Nick Cannon. Because I think everybody saw that, right? I think okay, the Passport OG actually did uh, did a video on it yesterday, saying approximately the same thing, right? See if I can find the spot. See if I can find it. And see if I can find the spot. I had it. I had it. Uh, share it out. Let's see. And then we'll close out. Being a good father, what is the definition of, you know, being someone who's prominent in the culture and and being, you know, so-called responsible? Uh, those are the things that go through my mind at night. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, there, you got so much in there. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even That's know. That's why we're here, Doc. Well, first of all, <laughs> let me just say, I, you know, you. I think you told me you're a an Xer or Zer or yeah, I'm a I'm, I'm a Gen. You X. were born I'm in before 80. the millennials. Okay. I was born in the eighties. Okay, <laughs> and you're also living in the Aquarian age, mm. which is about two women together in 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 my time. Right. Okay, stone them. <laughs> and a, your opinion of me is a chain around my neck. Mm. Where's where's the free will? Where's the choice? Black men specifically is the level to which their humanity and their hearts have been confided in when the woman that you love no there longer loves you and leaves you for someone else. Those are the things where we body or embody or in, in bottle all of that stuff yeah. uh, up until sometimes it's, it's too late. And we don't know, you know, it, we don't, we had nowhere to turn. I think one of the greatest crimes, one of, there are many, but one of the greatest crimes perpetuated against black men specifically is the level to which their humanity and their hearts have been devalued, diminished, and dehumanized, and that they have become doing machines. The greatest value a Black man has, if, in many instances, is what he can do for somebody, right. and how he can do it, and how much he can do it, and how much he earns doing it. I mean, I, I hear it and see it among young people in the relationships, you know, oh, you're going to get my nails done, and you're going to uh -huh. do this, and you're going to do that. Right. You know, they've been demeaned and devalued and, and, and dehearted right. to the point where they value themselves based on what they can do. Mm. Fix it, get it, make it happen. And no place have I seen in our world 
does anybody tell black men how to be? Mm. How to be with themselves, how to be true to themselves, how to be with their feelings, mm. how to be with their heart, mm. you know? Um, and, 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 and it's criminal. So what happens is then they begin to do the things that are expected of them. And that's how they're evaluated. Mm. And then if they can't do that anymore, whether it's the job or pay the mortgage or whatever, then they're just cast off like socks in the corner. Right. <laughs> just, right. in, in other disposable people, right? I did a video called Disposable Class of People, right? That's what black men and black boys is, disposable class of people. Yet despite being on an overpopulated planet with scores of other women, you guys keep pursuing black women for sex and such adults men are gluttons for punishment it's not their glutton for punishment okay steve they're not gluttons for it the thing is they've been socialized to be this way okay they've been socialized to be this way just like if, if you're in japan or your korea or china or or or, or in uh in arabia okay in islam you're socialized a certain way so they don't know any better it's not their glutton for punishment. They've been they've been socialized to be this. That's what she's trying to say. Because everything they hear about being a good black man is in service of, of others. Okay. Continuing. Hey. And it happens to black women also, mm -hmm. but usually because of the children in our care, we're given a little more leeway. But the way it's done for black men, and as I shared with you, one of the things my teacher taught me was. One of the greatest kryptonites for, for man, a man in general, black men specifically, is the feeling, the belief, the treatment that he is somehow inadequate. Mm. And when you devalue a man, he's going to feel inadequate. When you dehumanize him, when you de-heart him, so then where does he go with that? Right. He's inadequate and he, do, he doesn't serve a purpose because he can't do what you need him to do to make you feel better about yourself. What's mm. the purpose? What's the point? What's the point? And that's why we have these incredible rises in suicide. Yeah. I personally think it's why we have this, and I don't know the figures, I don't know what they are now, but the increase between, I think it was 2017 and 2021, a 30-something percent increase in the number of black men with prostate cancer, mm. starting early in Hawaii, because their manhood is under it. Uh, it, it. Basically, this is something that Carolyn May said the same thing about cancer, right? And, effect, and, and this kind of uh, psychological effect on your body, it does affect your body, okay? So she's a, she this she's one hundred percent correct. Okay, she's one hundred percent correct. She's not lying. Uh, what she's saying is black women have a different expectation. Okay, let's put it this way: uh, black women um, are shamed for abandoning their children. Okay, white women can do it, Latina women can do it, but a black woman is shamed for not for not keeping her children, you know, even if she's homeless. Okay, there, there's ex expectations on for every human being, right? The thing is, we're, we're not concentrating on on women right now. Okay, right, and you know, uh, their their psyche is not nourishing and nurturing them and their their masculinity because we're in the world. Where right. in the world do we where do we see them lifted, right. honored? Uh, I don't want to say respected. And here's what I hear in the back of my mind. So let me just go ahead and deal with it. Mm -hmm. Black women mm. saying, well, look what they do and look how they are <laughs> and look what they do, and you, you, you know, and we unwittingly participate in the emasculation, the dehumanization, the devaluation and the disheartening of black men because they didn't do it the way we wanted them to do. Exactly. Like mothers, wives, girls. Say it again, black woman. Say it again. For instance. That's that's such a complex conversation. And we didn't even get into you know my own personal life. Um being that, you know, I love the matriarchs of my family. Uh my grand see the, the, the matriarchs of my family, he's 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 part of the gynocracy, right? He's he see listen, listen to his language, right? Listen to his language, how he how he adores and cherishes and upholds and uplifts his matriarchs, right? Said black men have been dealing with this blunt force trauma since we arrived here, fighting a war on all fronts. It's a process for us to overcome. This gentleman, thank you, appreciate y'all. Okay, listen, listen how he uh, upholds and adores the matriarch, the gynocracy. Watch, grandmother, my great grandmother is currently 104. Wow, living in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Oh my speak. god, Kannapolis, I know Kannapolis. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's where the, the name Cannon comes from. Everybody yeah. in that town, last name is Cannon. Really? Uh, textile, you know, going all the way back to the cotton fields. Wow. Uh, and it's such a strong and vibrant black woman. 
probably the, probably the strongest person, like my superhero. Um, see, Kareem Cannon. Uh, see, his his superhero, right? Here the 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 gynocratic worship, right? But that's common. Um, who then gave you know birth to my grandfather, who married my grandmother, as such a powerful woman, who then gave birth to my father, who then you know teenagers, um, my mother and my father met each other and had me. Uh, and in that, those are my examples of relationships. Yeah. You know, I watch, like I said, my great grandmother be a matriarch. I watch my grandmother be a matriarch who helped raise me and the teenagers who had me. Um, and then my mother being, you know, a young mother, so resilient, brilliantly trying to figure it out from putting herself through night school to several jobs see? at a time. Being see, 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 see. Female worship, right? In a teenager with a young, young baby, and then you know her various personal relationships because my parents never really were in a relationship. Um, my father went back to North Carolina to, you know, get his education, stay out of trouble, started his new family, uh, while I kind of bounced around amongst the three. Uh, so even in that, when time for me to get into my relationships and my love life, I saw various things. So I was willing and ready to open to. I'm open. Well, whoever loves me. Okay. <laughs> you yeah. know, and I never really understood uh, the importance that I do now because I'm somebody who's had many relationships, but there is a strength in the black relationship. Yes. Um, but now because I have been through various relationships, I get, I get a lot of flack and ridicule for being a successful black man who's currently not uh, in a monogamous relationship with a black woman. And what that example is for not only my own children but even you know people who look up to me or the, the and he became a buck that's how come he's that's how come he's doing what he's doing so come how come he became a buck okay he's fo he's following the line he's a breeder yep yep had to fight back laughing when she said she wanted to be married and have kids before <laughs> 38 <laughs> before 38 <laughs> that's, that's 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 true Okay, but uh, I got to go do some homework, folks, and uh, our time is up. And uh, man, I mean, I could, I probably could do this all day. I probably could do this all day. What I'm saying is, this is not new. This is inbred. This is how it's been passed down. Okay, from 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 mother to daughter, uh, from son to father. I hear it all the time. The men are just. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, most of the men is just as bad as, as the women are. Most of the men are just as bad as women are. Most of the men are just like Nick Cannon, okay, with this female worship. It is what it is. All right, just so thank you. You think that the Ados FBA community has has run its course? I, personally, I do. Personally, I do. There's people that uh, I hope that it hasn't. But thing is, uh, I am a, a, a amoral pragmatist. I'm a structural realist. I look at what what the what the real facts are on the ground. There's not a not a great chance that it's going to survive beyond another couple of generations. Just, just not. Just not. This, this, this is my personal opinion. I hope I'm wrong, okay? But it doesn't look that way. But with that, okay. Good evening. Your time now is 10.52. I'm Jeanette Reyes. We told you at 7.52. I don't want to hold you. We told you at 8.52. Don't let me keep you. This just into our newsroom. You are not obligated to go to your place of residence as your final destination, but it certainly cannot be here. All right, folks. Okay. And we're going to let Dusty take us out, and I got to go do some homework.